Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to streaming. Yay! Uh, just a little bit ago, we finished Warrior Land 2. Well, we finished it up to as much as I am willing to, to do. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But now we're going to be continuing some RimWorld. Just nice, relaxed. Just, well, about as relaxed as you can get when just, just dumb shit's happening all the time. But... Yeah, we're doing some more RimWorld, so. But before we do that, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund. They pay bail to secure the safety and liberty of individuals in jail and immigration detention. I have a donation button below my stream. I have an exclamation point donate command. My chatbot shares that command every 30 minutes. And there's a QR code that will go up beyond the main screen once it comes up. That you can scan to take you to the donation page as well. I don't get any kickback or rewards or any weirdness like that from this. It's just an easy way to help me try to raise money for a good cause while I play games and keep hopefully y'all entertained in some fashion. Either, either, e even if you can't donate, your support's greatly appreciated. Let's go ahead and get the ball rolling. Shut up, OBS. I, uh, there's nothing open. <laughs> It's like encoding overloaded. Yeah, whatever. Talk to tell to someone who cares. <laughs> uh, jeez. All right. Now let's get the game. Let's get the game running. Probably take a few minutes for it to. Oh, not there it goes. Probably take a few minutes for the game to load just because there's a lot to load, etc., etc., etc. Kinda waiting. Oh, it says initializing. There's hope. Well, that's finishing up. I'll be right back. It's trying so hard. All right. Oh, uh, what what's going on here?
Hmm. Um. Alright. <laughs> Whatever works. Game loaded. Alright, let's just get rid of these old saves. They're not, like, really... doing anything for us because they're from the old version they probably wouldn't load anyway all right all right let's pause real fast take stock of our situation oh yeah we were starting to set up batteries in the lake so we can Oh, Thrumbo's showed up too. Don't tempt me, game. I'm about to do some researching. We got this room. So we got we're getting our room situations fixed out. We got oh yeah, we got Genevieve. She's a genie. We got a lot of stuff, but we're gonna be working on getting. Oh yeah, we have these medicine little critters too now, and they've made, uh... We've got some medicine now. And going forward, we're not gonna grow any more medicine, because these little critters... Like, every, like, two days or so... Yeah, like, every, like, 1.2 day, Like, every two days or so, they'll give us, like... Four, we'll get like every two days we get like 12 herbal medicine for absolutely nothing Transport pod crash Ah, uh, let's see broken empire. Yeah, we're gonna patch them up and send them on their way rare thrombos So what are we researching right now? Smithing. Okay, after we finish smith, uh, after we finish the smithing uh, research, we're gonna get these fuses because they make things, they make life better, and they're not part of vanilla, but they really should be. Okay, Genevieve is kind of for Huntsman is just hanging out. He'll probably research. How's the food looking? Um. Not especially good. But we did I, I do see we have a deer here. Oh, Jesus Christ, stop. Okay, it is sterile in here for now because of this kitchen sink. Butcher one creature. Butcher that deer. Ah, uh, we have the thing set up to just try to make as many as we can. Yeah, 
Yeah, we want to keep it as clean in here as possible. So after we get smithing researched, we're going to research fuses, but then after fuses, we are going to research um, sterile tile, which uses silver and steel, but is actively clean tile, which will make this room's uh, sterile bonus much higher. Let's build another battery. Oh yeah, Olabar is the tree man. He's the gay tree man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's the, the ascetic, abrasive, gay tree man. <laughs> oh, it's clean. Let's, uh, I don't know if some of these were cooked. I mean, if it's clean, it's fine, but just, I don't want to like let it get dirty in here and then forget about it and then. It would be a problem. us with uh, one left let's go ahead and for power power put these in like so Yeah, we don't want lemur doing like we don't want to have lemur doing any surgery anywhere oh uh oh i knew this fucker was going to be a problem sometime Perhaps we can uh, bait. Perhaps we can use uh, lemur as bait and try to lure this fucker to where we can shoot it with uh, Olabar. Because yeah, the, the must be there not be, might not be anything else on the map that's close enough for it to care about. Uh, where where that fucker go? Yeah, it's, it's hungry and there's not anything close enough that it's within the right uh, size. So, um... For now, we're just gonna keep Lady on, um... Uh, drafted so that she doesn't do anything stupid. Um, oh, this thing's got like Alzheimer's. Um, 
It's because it's 108 years old. Jesus Christ. How, uh, what's your life expectancy there, friend? Uh, let's see. 150. So you still got a lot of life left in you. You just have Alzheimer's. <laughs> What is your move speed? Because if it, if if, I'm, if it's slow enough where I can just pop out and shoot it, three point three eight. Hmm. How about you, Olivar? What's your move? Hmm. Maybe if it gets a little further away, we can attempt to do this with just Olivar. All right. Well, it's fleeing, so maybe I can just get it to go away. Because if I can get it to just leave me alone, that's fine too, but eventually we will have to take care of this thing. Hit it a few times. That might slow it down even more. Oh, well, I um, hit one of its eyes. <laughs> it's lost like another 10% move speed. Alright, I, I, I feel like Olivar could probably just fight it now in the field of combat. We'll just have Olimar flee. Thing is bleeding out in 22 hours, so we just kind of have to get indoors. Oh, well, that's not a very, that's not very good timing for them. Oh shit, all of ours bleeding out in four hours now. Well, we killed it. I'm, I just got a little too frisky with it. What happened to you? What didn't happen to you? Oh Jesus, all right. Um, No, we don't we don't want to deal with that right now. Yeah, as soon as Olibar gets into that bed, we need to tend him immediately cuz Does he even need to be in a bed? OK. 
Okay, how are you doing? Oh, yeah, he's fine now. He's gonna be fine. He's just had, like, open bleeding wounds. That needs a lot of medicine. Let's see, what do y'all sell? Hmm. Y'all are selling some gold, which I, pro I think I need some at some point. I don't know how much, but... We'll just buy 20 of that. And Ol now Olabar is out of con condition for a little bit. He was poisoned pretty severely. And hopefully that goes away. So hopefully this passes by Olabar without any cancer or anything developing from the, uh... Yeah, don't, don't do what I did. That was a, a mistake. <laughs> Alright, where are you at, Lamar? Oh, you're researching? They are researching. They are tearing this researching up because Genevieve is good at it. Lemur is good at it now, but she started at like one or zero, so. But Genevieve has a passion for it, so. Genevieve has improved significant, much quicker, much faster. Okay, and our, we got re good, re better relationships, relations with them. How you doing, Olabar? I gotta be checking on him. Because this toxic buildup could cause him to just spontaneously get cancer. How's our block stock looking? We got 51 sandstone, 360 marble, and 202 granite. Okay, not bad. Okay, our room is dirty. In part because there's just blood in the hallway. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just bleed all over the place. I think we have enough, um... I want to say we probably have enough, um... Uh, granite now to kind of finish off this. Maybe not, hmm... We can put down like 40 walls, but we also need to be putting down some, uh, we're going to put down some like, uh, vents and stuff soon.
kind of tidy up this area a little bit. Lady went to sleep without feeding Olabar, and he's not happy about that. So we gotta. We'll do this. Okay, and then we'll turn that back off. And hopefully that'll make Olabar's mood go back up a little bit. Oh boy, a raid. Oh. Four of yous, huh? Alright, well. It's not fully loaded with traps, but... Genevieve is not going to get close to this fight. They're leaving because it's too cold. Good for them. Yeah, you just go research there, honey, because you're not going to be uh, very helpful, unfortunately. Uh, Olabar's... Lady's asleep still. I kind of want to keep her possibly away from the fight because she's our main medic. So we're probably going to just hopefully have one or two of the uh, Neanderthals go down. As the last did Trevor, we'll have Lady here to kind of block, because she is a melee person. She's not very good at it, but... Mm. We don't have much of a choice. Alright, what are these things doing? Okay, they're going after the pl a plain leather doormat, which is this. So they are pathing correctly, so they will make their way to our death corridor. That's the important part of doing this uh, stuff, is making sure they can get to you. Because otherwise they will do... Oh, there's five of them. This could get problematic I don't think they're gonna bother these little guys hopefully they don't they're just kind of milling around no they're gonna kill they're gonna kill the campfire first oh no they are gonna bother these well, that's annoying uh Nah, we have enough medicine for now anyway, so it's a lot it's a lot it's unfortunate, but I 
Okay. Oh, damn. This could be bad. Oh, no. Now they're trying to get away, and they can't. That's what you get. That one's probably going to get away. All right, so. You're bleeding out five hours. That one's dead, but this one is fine. So we only lost one of those, which means we're still going to just gain way more medicine than we ever fucking need anyway. Uh, let's see. No cancer so far. It's going down. Okay, nice. That I need to make this longer. <laughs> I need to make this hallway longer. And probably not have a door there. Although that may let them get out pretty easily. But that might not be something we want to have happen going forward. We might want to have them uh, stick around a little longer. So we're going to make this longer for next time. Did you get hurt, lady? Not at all. That's that. Well, she didn't really fight much. I say as this person probably has like axe wounds. Uh, gunshot, sawn off shotgun, sawn off shotgun, assault rifle. Okay, yeah. She didn't actually hit anyone with her axe. But they didn't hit her either, so you know what? Cool. Good job. And she's gonna go tend to the little medicine thingy. A rat just died. To a coo oh, raccoon just died to a cougar. All right, cool. Lamar is still recovering from his unfortunate thing, and you're gonna you're gonna have a lot to do, a lot of repairs. Let's unforbid all this stuff. Let's do some blueprints and we'll kind of plan out the next like layer of this because we're probably going to just continue this kind of deal. Like some walls like here with a door. This. Like, we're just gonna add, like, another, like, layer of this garbage. And then we'll have a door there. Door there, so we can get around. Yeah, those Neanderthals are tough. Like, that's the only one that actually died mostly to the traps. The other one kind of just... Well, that one took a lot of damage, too, but then we shot him, I think. Uh, so. Door's gonna be there. Be pretty cheap to just plan up the doors, because then we'll have one there, one there, one there. Th there. And then we'll do that. Basically where all these little squares are going to be where walls are going. The doors are significantly cheaper than the walls. So I don't really mind having to, us doing it this way. And then we can just expand. All of our needs to heal up. 
before he can really do much with the wood the wood cutting stuff but and all that time Genevieve was just doing some research so it can't really be too upset she's probably annoyed because she's awake but I'm married to love of my life. This is the happiest I've ever been. Oh, yeah, that, that's why her mood's so good. She's still just, they, she got married last stream. So she's like very pleased with life right now. All right, we can probably crank this back up and. Yeah, Elbar is just not in a very good mood. He's 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 in pain. He's feeling sick because of the toxic buildup. Just he can't preach health to himself, which sucks. But you know, he just he's just gonna have to make deal. Rescue. Okay, next is basic fuses. Honestly, if I could just keep these little things in here, I won't have to really worry about them like ever um, getting hurt again because they'll just sit, they'll just hang out in here and uh, make medicine for free forever. It'd be pretty sweet, honestly. Elbar hasn't been able to tend the tree because he got uh, injured. So it's gone back down to only two die rads available, but we only have two, so that's, you know, fine. To take Ape to Splash Mountain? <laughs> I, I keep forgetting that's what I named that. Consume. How about you just haul all these uh, people? Lady. Yeah, once we can get a little further along, we can have this room be the incinerator and we can just like burn these bodies instead of um the alternative See if I can let's see how all of our handles this because no, all of our and lady. Well, she's not happy because she's seen like multiple corpses and it's she's wet, and it's outdoors, underground or outdoors. Yeah, it's she's not having a great day either. Hopefully she doesn't have like a mental breakdown before getting home. Hopefully Olabar can get gets back to bed. 
Well, he can he can play some games. Lobar's like, you got games on your phone? I can't imagine this little medicine maker thing is gonna be worth much meat, but Maybe don't stand on top of the damn thing when you're building it there. Weirdo. Alright, go, go to sleep, Olabar. I know your hospital sucks, but... Why, you keep getting yourself in these compromising situations, Lemur. If you're not careful, they'll get themselves stuck and then they'll try to step over the spikes and cause themselves to get hurt by the, the very trap that they're working on building. Those all of our, like, I mean, he's just kind of up anyway, it seems like, but. It's not like much we can really do other than what stuff heal anyway, so it's fine. I don't know if he can fail pl gathering stuff anyway. Um. I mean, I think his yield is a little down, but, eh, it's whatever. I wasn't really expecting this rice to survive anyway, because it got planted a little late. <laughs> so, we're, the, the fact that we're getting anything at all is kind of like, good, you know? And honestly, we're probably just going to harvest all this stuff manually, so it doesn't freeze. Well, it's a good thing I didn't decide to start building other parts of the base first, because this seems like it's a little bit more uh, necessary. Just got to make sure there's a nice clear path, which there will be. Still got plenty of rocks on the map to use, too, so. Yay. Let's see, yep, that's gonna be good. Olabar's still not feeling great because of, well, the toxic buildup. Hmm. We could probably turn, we could probably cut this thing up and uh, turn it to kibble, but we absolutely will not be using, um, 
Insect meat. Okay, insect meat's not automatically uh, unallowed, so that works. Oh. Looks like you're gonna go hunting something after uh, stuff here. Let's see, Boomalopes, Smilodons, Dinotheriums. Well, there's these two deer here that are missing body parts, but otherwise just fine, so we can, uh, do deal with that. Yep, they're just gonna lay here and uh, heal up and produce herbal medicine while they're... Oh, your nose... I didn't know you had a nose. Well, it's shattered, whatever it is. Your... I didn't know you had a paw, either. Two quadrums, age seven days. <laughs> this seven-year-old just like, oh, okay, I guess I just uh, don't have a paw anymore. It's gone. All right. Sleepy time. How's your hunger? Do you have anything else? You do have another meal. Okay, that's fine. So do you. And you don't, but you, you're you not hungry yet, so you'll be fine. It's so nice to have, um, a, like, a basically a permanent researcher. That's essentially what Genevieve is, is just a permanent researcher that we don't have to have someone else do. Although, very much so, we'll have some other people researching as well, because it's just more, more the merrier, you know? Okay, those two are have been chosen to be planted. We just have a tree in here that's probably, I don't know how long it's been in there. <laughs> We'll just replant them and they can grow over the course of the winter or spring or whatever. Or they can just get cut down. I don't know, but I just kind of want them to be out of the way. Let's see details. Okay, so within this area is when this is where people will cut uh, granite blocks. So let's uh, haul these in between stuff when people are not busy. They'll just haul the blocks, which is a weird place to go for a walk. Oh, 
Level 16 intellectual. Nice. That means another speed boost to research. Lemurs make, made short work of this. Huntsman is just, just nabbing stuff. Uh, let's temporarily uh, forbid this. Yeah, there's a, a pretty good amount of meat from this stuff that we can use to make more meals out of. Hmm, we currently have three very full batteries. So it may be worth our time to start running the power conduits. Hello, Cloudy. How are you doing? Th thanks for stopping by. Did you take a nap? Let's see, I'll run some power. Ah! Maybe you should have taken a nap. <laughs> <laughs> hey cool we are working on starting our power grid a little bit because we have two of these solar these uh solar generators and we have some batteries and yeah so far so good that's uh, 1800 um I guess watts of uh, power that I have stored up and these generate um, well the power outs going up because the day it's starting to be the sun in a few hours the sun will rise <laughs> yeah yeah oh I need to watch this because he's 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 cooking again rice up oh, rice plants dying a cold I knew I should have selected harvest on those sooner Uh, orders. Those are, in fact, plants, I promise. Um, is it these? Or maybe there's already a thing set for after he wakes up and eats food. I fought a scorpion that I probably shouldn't have fought, but... It, it's it, it's in here. We killed it, but it kind of had into a bit of a scuffle with Olabar here, and he got poisoned. So he's just been kind of having a time recovering from that. Thankfully, he hasn't caught cancer or anything from it, because that can happen when you have toxic buildup like that. Uh, that stuff's gonna fucking die before I even get to it, isn't it? Is 
there not fit any food left for Olabar? Well, I guess he's gonna have to just harvest some of this stuff while it's up. You'll harvest this and you will like it. No. Bad. What? Where are you going? How oh, I probably... I probably marked the cat power conduit for that. <laughs> damn, harvest the rice, damn you. There you go, buddy. Harvest it before it all goes dead. Okay, still sterile in there. What mini game are you playing? I don't really know too many of the mini games in, in 14, so I'm just like, hmm. An Ibex Ram self tamed, huh? I mean, alright. Someone's gonna have to go rope it, I guess, but alright. Oh no! Uh oh! The Smilodons are hungry! Um. Um. Yeah, we're gonna not, uh, leave the, uh, the premises for, uh, now. Because, um, that would, that, that would have been very tragic if one or both of my character, triple try, oh, nice, that's the card game from FF8, right? I vaguely remember playing that and not understanding a single fucking bit how it worked back in the day. Ah, big kitty. This is kind of wandering around. I need it to go away. I mean, I guess we could probably lure it into here. Maybe I could uh, get Olabar to, um... Where are you going? Oh, you're gonna get a fine meal. Oh! We're, we're, we're trying to live dangerously here. By that, I mean do stupid shit. I, I was trying to see if I could lure the Smilodon through our trap hallway, but... Because, yeah, I don't want to fight this thing straight up. That would be a death sentence, like... What's this thing's DPS? 7.96. That's pretty good, and it's... Vicious and it penetrates armor pretty well. Pretty well. Yeah, you don't want to fight this thing. Let's be cautious here. I think it's I think it's taking the bait. 
I think it's coming. Oh, this is... Uh-oh. Uh oh no, not Ibex Ram 1. How could we live without you? I'm more worried about this one that I now have in my trap hallway. What are you fucking- where are you think- do you think you're going with that meal, mister? Oh no, Ibex Ram 1 has been bitten to death. We'll- we'll go pick it up later. What you gonna do, kitty cat? Oh, well, you're almost dead, so... How fast are you still? Things like... I mean, that's not that fast, I guess, in the grand scheme of things, but... Oh, oh no! You've fallen, you can't get up! How unfortunate! Fuck you, smiled on. <laughs> Well, that'll keep the, fr the fridge nice and full. Don't know why this clown thought it was smart to go out here to eat a freaking fine meal when there is a literal saber-toothed tiger <laughs> hanging out nearby. But, you know, sometimes uh, life just uh, finds a way, I guess. And Lemur's working on this stuff. Okay, what are we researching? Uh, the, the fuses. Okay. Oh, we already have sterile tile. I think I researched it previously and then just kind of forgot. Yeah, these things cost silver and steel. And the entirety of this the entirety of this kitchen would need needs to be filled up with them. And honestly, we'd probably should probably be good to split off this area and then put like stone floors. Or something. We'll worry that about that after we get some more of these uh, lines put in. Okay. Those are the ones that are already done. Well, I at least know that they will path this way. 
if given enough incentive. Human enemies will have more of an incentive because they'll choose like a target to attack. But the animal one, I had to kind of use my people as bait. Not tremendously ideal, but you know, whatever. What are you, what are you gonna do? That's the other Smilodon that uh, killed the Ibex Ram that decided to self-tame. We'll drag, we'll drag it in later. I'll, I'll, mic I'll do that, and then someone will probably come and grab it at some point. I'm gonna just haul that now. Once I'm reached 11 cooking, nice. Okay, it's only clean in here now, so let's uh... If I had like a sniper rifle or something, I'd probably try to kill all these big ant, big predators like that, just because they are dangerous to my colonists. We're gonna go ahead and let's look at our power situation again. And you put the more conduits in for like over here. Another string of them, because we're gonna have some uh, cool. We're gonna have some uh, coolers that air condition this place to the point of it being constantly cold. Alright, hey Jenny, I'm gonna need you to cut some blocks real quick. Cause I'm gonna need a few more. Genevieve came here, like, kitted the fuck out with some pretty warm stuff. Still tribal wear, but, like, still pretty warm. Like, a padded vest, which is, like, a layer. It's long coat, which means you can probably make some padded vest, uh, vests for everyone else, too. Because the layer of, um, that's skin layer. This is middle. This is outer. So maybe I could look into some padded vests. Let's see, vest. Is it not made here? Is it made here? Can I not make those yet? Maybe not. I might, might be something. That might be another uh, research I have to do. And the reason we have this little bit here is because this is exposed to the open sky and we can have the cold air, we can have um, heat removed from here and put out here so that it will be, you know, air conditioned.
Another raid? A group of imps. Okay, how many, how many is a group? Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, you're cute. The little cute bastards, huh? It's little imps. It's like six of you. Jeez. Yeah, we're gonna need a to. You're gonna finish that, and then you're gonna move this back inside. Like, we're just getting constantly raided at this point. All right, lemur. Oh, we don't have any more wood. Well, that's unfortunate. We're gonna... that. Hopefully these traps are enough, because... Yeah. Okay, you've got that. You're gonna go he here. What are you doing? You're not doing that, I promise. I promise you are not doing that. You're not doing that either. You asshole. No, no more blocks, bad. <laughs> That's a bad Genevieve. All right, so Olbar's asleep. He's gonna hop, have to probably grab a a weapon and get up, cause um. Okay, it's really tempting for frag grenades. You know what? If we're gonna go, if we're gonna go down, we might as well. If we're, we're being assaulted. We might as well have some fun, right? Hmm. Oh, there's a. Oh, do we have enough wood for that? Okay. Uh, Lemur, you need to to build this real quick. No, you don't need to do that. I I promise you, you're probably fine. Okay, and then Genevieve, we're gonna just make sure you don't do anything stupid. Just stay in there. If it's bedtime by the time we're done with this, then you'll just sleep on the floor, I guess, but. I think if at least three of these go down, they'll leave, but I guess we'll have to see. Yeah, LeBron, I know you're stressed, buddy, but. Where are they going? What are they doing? Moving, igniting. Oh, okay. They're going after the, the. They're going after this doormat. So that's good. Turtle, can you like not do that, please? Oh, maybe we shouldn't do that, Olabar. Oh my God! What the? F okay, maybe I shouldn't use those. I'm making. More problems for myself. Ah, oh, shit. What are you doing? Oh, are you setting things on fire, you asshole? I do that. Uh, I do that fine on my own. Ow, motherfucker! Now our stuff's on fire. Ugh. Put her out. You bat. You assholes. 
This is going poorly because I'm a fool. Well, there goes all our food. I don't, they can leave. I just need to extinguish the fires. Like, I, I, oh, well, I guess they don't get to leave. <laughs> they died. Okay, we killed all of them, I think, but at what cost? Mo probably a lot of our food because it looks like it's burning. Jesus Christ. Yeah, those things, those fuckers, um, set things on fire. It's not fun. And it's all because I wanted to use grenades like a fool. Just put out all the fire. Fix up the shit that I... Fix up the things that I... The, the, the problems I started. If I wouldn't have blown that wall up or anything, that would have been a little smoother, but... Oh, you're dead. You're dead. Lemur got... Shot in the leg. And just a bunch of burns, so that's fun. Uh, you're very hungry. And you're bleeding out because you got sh shot in the fucking eye with a short bow. What, why are you not eating at the table, you fool? Christ. Can't go, can't do anything with y'all. <laughs> oh, hey, fuses are done. That's great. Now I gotta figure out something else to do with research. I mean, there's definitely stuff um, to do that's good, but like. We got smithing there. Hmm. Change the, the color of standard electric lamps and reduce the power consumption by half. Huh, okay. Uh, fertility procedures. Oh, that's for like the new biotech stuff. Uh, xenogenetics. You can like gene splice your fucking people now. Like fill it up with different genes and stuff like that. Um. It's like a lot of different researches and some of them are for modded stuff so it just kind of happens uh, okay check that we've already had a very exciting uh, time I guess let's get this Okay, she's gonna have to tend herself. And then she's gonna tend the lemur. Prisoner TY. Jonina Ustheo, a yeoman of the Broken Empire, has been caught in bed with the wrong person. She imprisoned the inappropriate lover in a show of rejection. Now she wants you to keep the prisoner tight. Tyler T.Y. Patton caged until the scandal blows over in 24 days. Ty recently attempted to hack a mechanoid control node and has been targeted by an orbiting- We don't need this right now. Goodbye. We don't need this right now. We just dealt with a bunch of imps. <laughs> oh, look at you. You're just on the mend, aren't you? Where are you going? Oh, you're gonna head- You're going back to the tree, aren't you? What are you doing? You're still just sick and unhappy because of it. Observed corpse, dryad died. My dry, my tree's dryad is gone forever. You shall be missed. Oh, that's kind of sad. What, am I not pretty enough? 
for a tumble. He's married. Elmer's not in a great mood. Thankfully, we were able to save most of the food. So that's nice. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot about Genevieve. She's just sleeping on the floor. I feel mildly bad about that, but I didn't really have any good way of keeping her from... Um... Okay, they're gonna... No, just stop doing that for now. You need to relax. You're... I don't know why you're relaxing in here. Hey! That's fine. Whatever. A reclusive child is passed about. Her name is Bradaton Locust Cervexa. Good, good for you, child. Huntsman is, Huntsman's in a good mood, so I'll have him do this stuff. Oh, as you can see, we've had some, uh, a, a few, um, visitors as of late. We're taking them all to Splash Mountain, where they can ride all the Disney rides forever. God, there's so many of them. Like, the raid before this one was like five, and this one was six. Why are you eating... That's not the place to eat food, buddy. How about you uh, not do your food eating there? Goodbye, child. How about you uh, go and go back here and do it? Fucking weirdo. I had a table here because this dipshit would just... Your mood is real bad. Real bad. How'd it get that bad? Go to sleep, weirdo. Okay, lemur is on the mend. How are you doing? Your stuff should looks like it's going to be fine. How many body? Oh yeah, that, that's that's been gone for a bit. I was like, how'd that happen? So, so we're in severe need of um, of wood for more traps. We can make you can, we can make stone traps that take a lot longer to make, and we need a little bit of stone instead for other things. Yeah, let's uh, find orders, chop wood, and we'll select just whatever is around.
Okay, so these little these little critters are going to um just go back to this tree regardless of where they get put. So we're probably gonna need to fit wall this in so they don't get hurt anymore. Cause yeah, they kind of got one of them died and another one kind of got a, got roughhoused a little bit. We're also gonna not use these uh, frag grenades because those were uh, not a good choice for the situation. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna grab that after he gets his sanity back a little bit from playing Hoopstone. Yeah, he's hungry, he's sick, he's sad because of that. It's cold. Lady's fully healed, Lemur's still mending a little bit. What are you doing? You're, haul you're hauling more chunks? I mean, that's fine. Wolbar's still a little bummed. Uh, you're doing that. Wolbar, oh, buddy, I really need you to uh, cut trees instead of that right now. Like, I know you like your 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 orange tree, but we need wood for more traps. Or else the next raid is gonna fucking destroy us. She's just coming out to get some of them. Lemur is now healed, so Lemur can do stuff without really being too concerned. Huntsman exchange ideas about the connection between cannibalism and ethnicity. Ha. Huh. Let's look at power now. We got this whole stuff wired up, so now we can start dropping in, um... Start dropping in stuff to use the power that we're storing up and generating, etc. in point um
I think this is a mod that's over, over wall cooler, because usually you have to have them kind of like... doing that but I I really Olabar buddy I really need you to do something else because he'll sit there and prune that thing until he literally falls over and dies so we need him to do other things stove this little kitchen to the max. <sighs> Seriously, the other smile Don was not satisfied with Ibex Ram 1. Oh shit, that thing's close. We not he might not be able to get out of this little bit of scrap. Run, Olabar, run! Oh, no. No. so I can kill these predators because I've got to constantly be on my on guard from random saber tooth tigers up. Thank you. I'm like random like, saber tooth tigers and shit trying to eat me. Fight for now, but
All right, I have returned. My roommate was went to the store, like to the dollar store, and I was just observing what some of her treasures that she found were. Well, Huntsman doesn't necessarily have to, like... Bills... Honestly, I could probably get away at doing the uh, four-pack fine meals now since we've kind of figured out the whole thingamajig. Okay, let me put that away before I just spend the whole stream just fidgeting with that. <laughs> um, We'll set up the fine meal things as well. Um, we'll just do fine meal and we'll set them both up. Do it until you have X. Huntsman. Huntsman. For now, we'll suspend. We'll see how this the four times one works. Because Huntsman doesn't have a uh, night owl, so he can be awake during this time. I usually just have him uh, be on the same schedule as his wife, because I mean, that makes sense to me. Missing protein. Well, we've got protein. Oh wow, that that smile done give it probably gives a lot. Oh, Jesus Christ, we pro we probably need another shelf in here. Make it out of bones. What are you? Oh, you, we don't have any food for you right now. <sighs> Cook at the damn electric stove. So overall cooler is currently sitting at target temperature 21 degrees Celsius, which means since it would be, it it's not gonna work, doesn't work that way. So we're gonna lower the degrees down to negative 10. Same for this one. I'm gonna lower its degrees down to a negative 10. Since it's negative 10 outside, that means these will run very, very minimally, but this will be nice and cold in here at all times. Okay, and Lemur's level 17 instruction. You worry me.
Yeah. Enough playing with the tree, dude. Go to sleep. You're gonna drive yourself to a stress coma. But yeah, it's nice and sterile in here. And... It's a little cleaner in there now. Okay, we got all the meals. Now we can kind of clean things up in here, make it more presentable. What are y'all doing? Oh. Hauling wood. Lullabar's been busy just running around murdering trees. <laughs> it seems. Oh, shit. God damn it, I knew I should have fucking... Who's close? Is that anyone cl No one's fucking close by. God fucking damn it. Stop it! Stop killing Lemur! Uh, Lamer's dead. Ah, motherfucker. There goes our, our top tier constructor. I don't know what to do about that. It's eating Lemur. No, stop. piece of shit. <sighs> well, things got real exciting real fast. Lemur's dead, and Huntsman's probably not very happy about that. Yeah. Yeah. My wife is dead. I am alone. God fucking... I knew I should have dealt with that fucking smile, Don. Well, <clears throat> these things happen. We're gonna have to make a nice grave for her, though, because she's, you know, one of our people. <sighs> Motherfucker. That's permanent. <laughs> uh, that's... That's why I really 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 wanted a want some better weapons so I can just kill all these fucking predators on the map all the time because this shit happens <sighs> well there goes our constructor looks like Genevieve's gonna have to start doing that and she's at least she can do it it's just very frustrating Fucker.
<clears throat> this is gonna be morbid, but we're gonna make. We're, this is now gonna be uh, Lemur's grave. <laughs> do we have enough? Cons do we have enough silver for this? Because I will just make her a grave out of just pure silver. <sighs> Probably shouldn't make it out of silver. That'd be very swish, but. We don't have enough jade for that. I want to make a nice grave. Oh, it's going to take a while for... God damn it. That's so frustrating. Yeah, prune your fucking tree. Let's hope this council thing works, cause like, Huntsman's gonna be in a bad place very soon. <sighs> Made it worse. Somehow that attempt at helping made things even fucking worse. Yeah, Genevieve's gonna have to build an awful lot of stuff to get back, get to get even close to where Lemur was. <sighs> God damn it. That's frustrating as fuck. I will not lie. That's extremely fresh. What the fuck? Don't need you dying too. Six. Can you even. Can, okay, Olabar is mildly able to do medicine, so he's gonna have to step in for a second. God damn it. See, this throws off everything that we had, because these five are pretty much like good to go, golden, and then. Until, until it wasn't. Patch lady up, cause I think she had some uh, some smile on bites. Jesus Christ. Okay, she'll be fine now. She's just oh wow yeah those are are, are very bad bites. Jesus Christ. What's your construction chance? Mostly a hundred anyway, so that's fine. Hopefully you'll build this and we can put uh, lady, not lady, uh, lemur to rest. Hmm. I have a feeling we have to bury her first. I, I'm, I'm just so, I'm a little frustrated, not gonna lie. Stop touching the fucking tree and bury your friend. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, I guess it wouldn't be super fun if nothing bad ever happened. Uh, Begoin Requiem of the Holiness for Lemur. A gathering that occurs after around a believer's grave after they die and are buried. If the body is destroyed, an empty grave can be used. Slaves don't get funeral. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Uh, well, we're doing this now. Oh, uh, yeah, we have to have the moral... The, It goes down. <laughs> can I? Can, can well, let me just do this. With no speaker, we're just gonna all sit here and 
lady's doing her best to make it to the ceremony. Uh, that's frustrating. Hopefully you can find another colonist to take her place. Oh, that's fucking annoying. Jesus fucking Christ, we didn't need that. Well, what a sorry way to go. Sorry, Lemur, but your your ceremony sucked shit. <laughs> uh, what are you? You're eating food. Fine, that makes sense. Yeah, you're gonna you're turning into like ten million food. You piece of shit. <sighs> Let's haul the shotgun in. At least someone else can use that. Where are you going to... Well, whatever. Yeah, like... That's a... Like... Yes... I fucking hate predator creatures. Now, in base game, there's not really that many that can really do much to you. There's, like, wargs, but, like... Megafauna adds stuff like this that will just kill you, as you saw. I should have just had her run. She did a lot of damage, so she almost killed it, but, like, she just didn't have the... the she just couldn't really survive. At least we got this kind of shit built before she kicked the bucket. Genevieve's gonna have to build a lot of walls to get back up to... to, to get close to what we had uh, construct one okay winter has begun oh gee I wonder why he's having a bad time Maybe it's a minus 30 from, I don't know, his wife dying. <sighs> He's not in a good place right now. And there's not much I can really do about it, because I think Olbar's thing is down until... Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's... Olbar's not a very good... Um, moral leader. What's Genevieve compare complaining about? Uh, probably some of the similar things. Your bedroom's awful. How is... Is because it's dirty? I mean, it is pretty dirty. Alright, it's not awful at least, so that'll get... That's at least a slight improvement that'll happen. Okay, they're just running around grabbing all the wood. Yeah, that's gonna severely hurt our uh, defenses too. Because that's one less person that can actually shoot safely. Because Genevieve can't really do that. So hopefully you can get another person that's good at fighting before long. In the meantime, though, we're going to probably have um, Genevieve start just constructing a bunch more um, traps. Maybe I shouldn't put one here. Probably not. Just construct them a lot, a lot of them in advance. Let's just prune in the goddamn tree. His mood is so bad. Holy fuck. Uh, 
like the worst ones then that's gonna last for like th like two like half a year oh that's so frustrating see the game can have such high highs with low very low lows <laughs> at least I got some sour patch kids mmm my mouth's gonna hurt later <laughs> Frank, I'm surprised he's not, like, a lot flipped out yet. Because his mood is, like, literally zero. Like, just literally zero. If I lose, and if I lose him, we're really screwed because he's the cook. What are you doing? You're eating an oak tree. Good for you. Okay. Um, now you won't fail building stuff. So you're just going to be building an awful lot of things. That's the, only th that's the only thing we can really do is just continue doing. Got to keep an eye on him because. Like his mood, his 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 moodlets are so bad that like his, oh, his God, it's so awful. He's sleepy. Well, that probably doesn't help his mood much. I don't know if I've seen extreme break rest before. And possibly violent mental break at any moment. What's this? Lynx and another desperate refugee are approaching. They say that that crop blight starved them out of their village. Lynx begs for you, per begs you for permission to stay at Catasbia for 17 days so they can rest and regroup. In return, they offer to work and fight for free during that time. If you make them happy, some of them may offer to join you. They also write reward you for helping them, but there's no way to know their true intentions. Uh, no, we can't deal with that right now, especially if one of them decides they want to just try to kill us afterwards, because, yeah, they can do that. Genevieve, I really wish you wouldn't, like, walk over the traps like that, because that makes me uh, anxious. <laughs> Wait, what the happened to the turtle? What did you do? You have also have hypothermia. Oh yeah, that's cold. Um, perhaps I should uh, put down a heater somewhere. Stone campfire. Turtle turtle doesn't really do anything, but that's fine. She's like already up and about, still got like smiled on bites in her both of her legs. I'm not a fan of that I've heard being up and about but I mean we're kind of in a we're in a bit of a bind and such
Man, I told him to cut trees. We don't really, we don't need this right now. Okay, one there. And two. No, that's like, god damn. So, that, so now we're getting, uh, still getting raids of like five people. <laughs> Give or take. Because we got two, the, four there. And then one up there. That's a squirrel. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is going to get uh, dicey at best. Bad time for Lady to... For Lady, honestly, because... Her legs are fucked. She can't fight. And you can't fight at all, because you get... You get hit by a stiff breeze, and you'll just go down and get captured. Genevieve is fragile skin and bones. She takes more damage than other people from the same blows. Genevieve is weak and cowardly. Even a little pain will immobilize her. Yeah, I can't assign these critters like an allowed area. I can't put them in here either. So yeah, these things are probably gonna die again, which is gonna make Olabar sad because what the hell else, what the hell can I really do about it? Because I've been been recovering from this gar another garbage that happened. You are not you are not doing that right now, little genie. You are building traps. And as soon as they start coming, you're stuck gonna stop doing that. Cause you cannot afford we cannot afford to have you get hurt at all. Alright, well if you're not Okay, where's Omar's asleep? Can't have that. We need. We need him to. He's probably gonna need to get the shotgun. Charge rocket launch. That's no. No, we need better weapons. How are your legs looking, lady? We might have to... We might have to have her... Well, one of the leg wounds is gone. No, no, they're both still there. It's just she had blood loss. Um, I'm, just I'm just afraid of one of them take cutting one of her legs off or something, because her leg's already damaged. Oh, this is so sketchy. He's, he's about to fucking snap, <laughs> so that's not great either. Hopefully he doesn't have a mental breakdown before they get here. <laughs> Alright fuckers, come on. Come on in. The water's fine. Where are they going? Oh no, they're gonna kill the dryads. God damn it. <sighs> yeah, those dryads are fucking dead.
Well, that one's definitely dead. This one, no, that one's dead too. <laughs> it might as well be dead. All right, here. Oh, well. Well, they didn't get very far, did they? What the fuck? Why did you... What are you doing in here? Oh, that's what... That's dangerous. Y'all need to, like, fucking, I don't know, get get away. Because this thing is Manhunter now. Because these motherfuckers did their thing. Oh shit. That's dangerous. Holy shit. Um how, that 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 this thing alone could probably kill our fucking colony. How fast is this thing? 316. We might have to kite this thing and kill it, because fucking. At least give it something to fucking. No, nope, no, nope, move! Damn it, Huntsman, no! Well, your left ring finger's fucking gone. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the dude's getting picked apart. Oh, Genevieve, you're about to die. Oh, you're you're dead, honey. I'm sorry. Move. Don't move. M move, damn. <sighs> Jesus Christ. How did you not get? You know what? Uh, we're we're gonna just uh chalk chalk that up to luck. <laughs> this is a fucking shit show. Um, I think it's called a, uh, par Paraceratherium. It's a, um, like an extinct rhino. And these, uh, little furry dudes, um, used an ability called, like, Animal War Cry. And it made, made this animal berserk and it broke through all these traps that you see, all these traps here. Broke through doors. And it's currently chasing my two people here. So we're, we're, um... Okay, you got gently scratched. Uh, what is this thing doing? Oh, it's, it's gonna come break this door, I bet. Okay, Genevieve, honey, you cannot... You won't take another hit. I'm surprised you even survived that thing breaking into your bedroom. You're gonna, I'm gonna need you to, like, leave around the corner. And you're gonna shoot this thing some more. Okay, that thing. Yep, our diorads are both all dead now because we kept getting, keep just getting fucking raided, back to back. Oh, the the good the the good rim giveth and the good rim take away, and it's been taking away a lot today. Um, we lost one of our other colonists, 
to a fucking Smilodon, this Smilodon, uh, and then this, and we're just limping along right now. But you need to stop shooting and just like... Have you just, just go inside, Genevieve. Okay, that, that door's about to break, so we're gonna have... Huntsman's also very depressed because his wife died, because that wasn't enough. Because <laughs> Lemur was his wife, so he's got, like, he's his mood is in the, the negative, so I'm surprised he hasn't had a mental breakdown yet. <laughs> like... Shoot this piece of shit. What is this thing attacking? Oh, it's coming after Huntsman. I just gotta have him keep running away. Thankfully, he is faster than this thing at this point. This thing has, like, got, like, a million... W Look at all these wounds. This thing is a fucking brick... Built like a brick shit house. We've shot it in the neck, the head, the skull, the brain, the left eye, the right eye, the nose, the left ear. The body's got, like, 11 gunshots. This thing just takes... A lot of damage. I mean, it should bleed out soon, but I... It's personal. We are killing this piece of shit. If Huntsman can shoot it, that is. Okay, you need to get some more space, buddy. Oh, I'm glad you're up and about, lady. Where, where did you even go? Where are you? Oh, hey, we, one of the one of the dirads didn't die. Okay, well we still have one then. Just this one's dead, which sucks because Olabar here is the tree tender for that orange tree down there, and yeah, he's not. We're we're, we're in a bad state. We this 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 might be a colony wipe. These last few events just uh, so much just. Terrible, terrible, terrible timing for everything. Oh, now. I didn't know we. Well, at least it's dead. But yeah, he's. Uh, now he's gonna go binge some weed. Um. <laughs> so this is the, the, the messy part of the game that you don't tend to see much unless stuff goes really bad like it is now. Uh, did we even have. Do we even have Smoke Leaf? Like. Well, this is a fucking, oh, this, this one's not quite dead. Psychically dull, hard worker, brawler, fisherman, gay. Um, honestly, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to, to, to try to save this one if I could get him saved real quick. But we, we need a prison. I don't really have that right this second. Um, mm, shit. We can, we can have him, give him a really nasty prison. Like, we could have, this room could be a prison. It could be a very impromptu prison. Uh, yeah, we, we got messed the fuck up. Also, by the way, welcome 3 Gs. <laughs> I was a little occupied with having um just it's just not a good time okay for prisoners medical and how's this medicine maker dryad doing it, it's fine it'll be fine we want to capture you if i did i thought these were all dead but this guy's just been probably laying here for a while We might have to do like a really quick, dirty, uh, like in here. Cause I think this, yeah, this is a room. Yeah, 
I've not really had to deal with prisoners yet this playthrough. So I, um... I wasn't, I'm not really very well prepared for it. Okay, you get, you get on there. Alright, this bastard, you're not, you're not getting any medicine. You're gonna get tended to. Because we just need to stop your bleeding. Because, oh, uh, let's see what we got. Any scars? Hmm. Never mind. Never mind. We're gonna let you just die. We'll strip you though. There we go. Now we can sell your shit at least. What a fucking mess. What are you doing? Oh, you're, you're, you're going to go prune your favorite little tree, huh? God, this is a mess. Well, that thing's still just, it's just laying here bleeding out. It's not quite dead even. It's just kind of laying there in shock. Good, fuck you. <laughs> Fucking thing. It says he's bending on smoke leaf, but we we don't have smoke leaf, so God, what a mess. There's just blood everywhere. <laughs> you can see where we fought this thing. There's just a big trail of blood through our entire fucking base. <laughs> God. What a fucking mess. I wish this thing would have went through the whole thing, because that thing might have actually died before it even got to us, so. Yeah, this is it. Jenny, please. I think she's always had this scratch scar. Let's let's hope the huntsman just doesn't walk right right on top of some traps and die. Cause that would be my luck right now. Uh, things are so promising too, and then today had to happen. No, you, you don't need to be taking anyone to Splash Mount. I mean, you're fine, actually, probably. About as fine as we're really gonna be. We're all in just really horrible moods. <laughs> Huntsman's doing... What do you, what do you even... He's just... Oh, he, he, we did have some smoke leaf. He just... He's just... <laughs> he's just lighting it up. <laughs> Hopefully it helps you feel better, buddy, because... Solar flare, great. Medical emergency, what's up? Don't care. Do not care. You know what? Fine. Take the fucking furry to Splash Mountain. You, you, you happy with your smoke leaf there, buddy? He's stoned on smoke leaf. We've got a bruise from the freaking massive thing. Your left ring finger's fucked. St oh no! Anyway. <sighs> I can't really do anything with him yet about his wound either because his ring finger got um, fucked up. Let me see. Yeah, uh, his left ring finger got destroyed by the, uh, the Paraceratherium. Like, broke his fucking finger with, with, with his left hoof. <sighs> I don't know how that happened, but it sure did. You know what? Leave that fucker there. I care less about them right now. They caused me great strife. We need to tend to our uh, people. And he's just gonna wander around in a stoned stupor. Uh, it came pretty close, like right here, this blood splat, that's where um, the colonist that is in this grave here got attacked by a, the Smile Dawn that's in our freezer. Cause it, it just came over here and just killed her. I couldn't get anyone else in there in time to help her survive 
it just killed her and it was in the process of eating her whenever I was able to kill it. <laughs> so fucking, this game's a fucking nightmare. Oh, God. But hey, that's, that's showbiz. Okay, where, where's Huntsman? We could try to capture him to get him to, like, not to get out of his fucking shit, but I feel like that just put more trouble, put more strain on his poor little brain than he's already got, because whew, he's not having a good day. Where are you getting this smoke leaf? I don't... I'm guessing these... Furry people had smoke leaf on them. Fucking ridiculous. At least he's using common sense and not walking over traps that could hurt him. At least the AI does that, right? Okay. We are just we're struggling. Who wants to know? You a cop? <laughs> Who is this? Genevieve's got a major break risk, cause. Oh yeah, we also botched the like we were have we had like a little funeral ceremony and it went poorly and now everyone's not very happy about that either. So it's just a big spiral of shit, <laughs> all happening all at once. And it's... that's the name of the game. And he's just bleeding all over the place because I can't really, I can't forcibly tend him. Oh, the solar flare's over. Yay. A lot of fucking good that's gonna do. Uh I mean, do you really need to rest? Probably not. It'd probably be better for her to be doing something that she enjoys doing so that... Oh yeah, and we just fixed all these traps up too, and so that happened, and then... It would have been fine, but then this big fucker just stomped over all of these. So now we gotta get more wood to do that. He's just going... Focusing entirely on that, which he shouldn't be, because in his in his high state, he's like, mm, I got the munchies. Mmm. He might have he might have eventually just pass out. Yep, oh, yep. There, he go, there he goes. <laughs> mm. Where are you? Are you close to? Okay, you're gonna leave that fucker. That furry bastard there, and you're gonna um, rescue Huntsman because he's just not in a good way. Thankfully, we've got a lot of medicine from these little dry dryads over the course of the year when they weren't dead. <laughs> Lady loudly insulted Genevieve's medical. St That's fucking rude. <laughs> it's like you fucking suck with animals. I know. She is literally genetically disposed to be bad with animals. Like, like her genetics dictate that she's bad with animals. Like, literally her genetics dictate that. Like, if you look here at her, her Xena genes. Poor animals. No hair. Extra pain. Some, I'm surprised. Uh, elongated fingers. <laughs> But by but by damn it, she's good at making things. Visiting Lemur's grave. We just have so many negatives because of just everything. There's just blood everywhere, it's nasty, messy, we're just... Her. 
clean up your room, you're gonna have a. You're gonna not be happy unless I do. Oh yeah, her bed. Her door is gone. So technically, her room is just all of this, which is not great. Cause that means her room's gonna just. We don't have enough wood either. I'm. I. I'm still. So, oh, he did have a breakdown. And he does have catharsis to help st set offset everything, just everything. Like stone, man. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the game and just decide. Well, I the storyteller I'm using is called Randy Random, who um he just just kind of randomly spawns events. They are kind of I think they're kind of weighted by based on your like wealth and stuff. Or like more severe ones would show up, but otherwise, yeah, he just he can just throw back to back raids at you for a while, or just have you not have raids for a while. It's just I got a lot of doors I gotta fix because that thing just was like plowing through door after door after door. Like need a door there, need one there. God, there's just it's just a mess. Okay, she at least has a decent room now to go back to sleep in. I guess there was an eclipse. <laughs> he's moving real slow. Oh yeah, he's stoned. I guess that makes sense. Hopefully he doesn't have like a higher food. No, nope. oh, his cookie speed's 31% because he's stoned off his ass. He's eating real slow, too. Oh, yeah, he's got severe blood loss because he, like, just had his ring finger just bleeding for, like, ten hours, it felt like. Oh, boy. That was a mess. Olabar, buddy. Can you not do that right now? You need wood. Desperately. Now he's gonna go play some hoopstone. Are you serious? How? Uh, there's like five, five or six of you, isn't there? Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, this game's not fucking letting up. Uh, two... Okay, those are just deer. There's a fucking warg here. Um... There's five of them. And our traps are kind of fucked. Genevieve, I'm gonna need you to make some more. I'm gonna need, need you to make some more trap. Oh, you kind of are. And I, I need you to to fucking work on this door first, because otherwise they're gonna just walk right in past all of our traps. Uh, what, a, what a fucking mess. All right, Olabar. What is, what is this? Smiled on fangs? Hmm. Ah, well, that's unfortunate. Um, what is this? A steel axe? Is that better than the other axe that I have? 6.4 DPS. Actually, it's worse than that, so, um... Go ahead and grab that, because... Unfortunately, you're going to have to block a little bit, even though you still have a left leg injury. 
That's been slowly healing. Alright. Yeah, I have a feeling this could be a, a bad time for us. We do have at least some traps down here that will soften them up a little. Motherfuckers, stop trying to wear new clothes. Build the goddamn traps. Of course, Olabar is not in a good mood. What? <laughs> oh, you're hungry. Um, see if you can eat real quick. You know what? Fair enough. Uh, do we have any other stray wood laying around that we could use to fix that? Oh, no, no, we don't. We don't have any more time, so now you get to go inside and hide because you can't fight. Because the other person that could fight got eaten by a goddamn smile dog. <laughs> It doesn't matter if there's a fucking door missing here because these traps are all fucked anyway. Ugh. What a shit show. Still haven't really had proper time to recover properly from this, and our weapons are bad, and just. Just, just a bad time. You've got a fucking machine pistol. You've got like a, a combat handgun. You've got a club. And you've also got a club. Oh, you've got a bolt action rifle. That would be nice to have, so hopefully we can kill this one. A, a, a gay tor- a, a, a hyper- psychically hypersensitive gay tortured artist. Oh boy. And a waster. Wasters are aggressive, immune to toxic pollution, almost impervious disease. Can just as much psychite and wake up drugs as they wish with no ill effects. Your religion is kleptism? Hmm. Basically raiders. Looking back, I wish I'd realized this earlier. That we've long since proven that we have the strength to rightfully rule this universe. If anyone disagrees, I'm always ready to defend myself. Thanks, Tony Forbes! <laughs> oh, jeez. The relic is a, uh... Smoke launcher. <laughs> Interesting. Gladiator duel fight of dominance. Fiesta of kleptism. Memes guilty. Transhumanists and nature primacy. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I guess let's see how this raid goes. This could be the end of our colony, honestly, because of just how rough things have been lately. 
This music track fucking slaps, though. It's from it's from a mod that adds that called P music that adds like well music. Don't stop thinking things over. Oh well, that one's dead. Well, that was uh, quick. Any other? Any? Where are you going? Oh shit, that's a problem. Hopefully the rest of these losers fucking die quick so that they don't end up doing that. Oh, oh yep. All right. Well, you you all not only did you not die, not only did you drop your gun, but you also didn't die. The whole body psychic de dependency. This person has a genetically induced biochemical dependency on a specific drug. Without regular doses of the drug, they're their body cannot maintain itself in a healthy state and they will suffer degrading health and mood until they die. Takes effect after age 13. So you got so you currently you probably have Psychite with you somewhere in some fashion. I would assume. Or maybe not, I don't know. Um you, oh, you're the you're the tortured artist with the permanent minus 8 mood. Yeah, like, this stuff's fine and all. Like, it's actually pretty good stats and stuff. But, like, the whole torturous thing is kind of a no-go because that's just, like, makes them harder to maintain. What about you? I didn't even look at you. Hutch. You're also a genie. You're a gay misogynist genie. Iron-willed and... You're, yeah, you're terrible. <laughs> We're probably not gonna take any of these people that are injured here. Yeah, you better not fucking mess with my generator, you little shit. <laughs> uh. Well, inadvertently, all these raids we keep out to defend against keep bringing us more money, which makes the raids worse, so... <laughs> It's kind of a lose-lose. Um, I really wish you didn't have Tortured Artists, because otherwise you would be, like, a perfect fit for the colony. And you're just dead. You're also a genie. That's, hmm. Interesting choice. Okay, and they're just, like, trying to get away desperately. We didn't have to even fight. You know what? Cool. Alright, um... Am I really... Hmm... You have pretty eyes. Um... If there was anyone I would be grabbing, it would probably be this person. That minus eight is... Permanent minus eight sucks, but... Not... Need natural penalty... Hmm... I think we should probably hold. Mm. It's such a hard decision. You have a heavy fur t shirt and mega soft wool parka. You're not freezing anytime soon. What to do? At some point, we're probably going to grow some flake or yayo or something to, um,. Make money, because you can just grow drugs, and then, like, make them into, like, basically, like, space cocaine and space, uh, crack, or more or less. You, you look like the fucking Onceler. <laughs> fucking Daskin. Daskin Robbins. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't need you. I don't need a misogynist in my base. Granted, we all... No, we have two women, so yeah. Mm. Against my better judgment, I think we're gonna capture space drugs. <laughs> I think against my better judgment, we're gonna capture Liz here. One, she's gay, so maybe she'd hook up a lady, and that'd be cool. Oh, the lady's like fifty-three. I didn't realize how old she was. That's eh, fine, whatever. Um. 
But yeah, I think we'll we will capture this one. Cause we kinda we kind of need another person to help us defend against these fucking raids. Granted, her shooting's not very good, but we could just have her go like, I don't know, hunt animals or something to get that up. Plus it gives us a few more weapons we can use that are not just like clubs. We've got a machine pistol, kind of a crappy bolt action rifle, and an auto pistol. And of course they gave us more fucking money. All right, so let's get a, a prison set up. We might we might have, we might just have to make a permanent prison somewhere. Oh yeah, this thing's been dead for a while. I need to get that inside too. All right. You're going to go play with your tree um back to whatever it was you were doing. I don't even know what you were trying to do. Okay, and Huntsman is um, somewhere. Trying to think of a good place to put a prison. I could split this in half like that, but mm, I kind of want a big. Ho I kind of want a big hospital. Could probably just build a prison right here. In the for the meantime, though, we're gonna turn this into a uh, into a ad hoc prison so we can get um, Diva here. Um, great name, by the way. We're gonna definitely have to get some some psychite growing and made for him, though, because I don't think we really have that. I would I, was, I would expect them to come with some. Cause most most raiders that have like drug dependencies and stuff like that tend to need come with some all right so we are going to grab you and capture you uh, we're gonna strip Bradford first the sla the slaughterer they call me Bradford the slaughterer and then we'll capture Diva. She can keep her clothes. You don't get to keep your clothes. You're gonna you're gonna die. So you don't you don't not gonna need those clothes. <laughs> yeah, we got some um, break risks going. There's so much blood. I hate how much blood there is. Okay, uh, what do you? I need you to um fix this door first. Why are you going all the way over there to get the wood for this door when there's some literally right... Th what? Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, so let's fix you up, D.Va. You don't have any permanent injuries, it looks like. You have psychic dependency, which means you're gonna... Okay, she had psychic seven hours ago, so... I mean, it's the middle... It's the start of winter, so we're not gonna be able to do much about that. I might have to send somebody to go try to buy some some like psychite tea or like some drugs or something because like like work that she that's gonna quickly become a problem.
You know what, Genevieve? Good job on you for making more traps. Uh, Huntsman's asleep. You're building these. Lady, what are you? You're, you're visiting a grave. Well, the grave. There's not really a grave other than this one for us to care about. Genevieve, break risk. We got Turtle here just walking among the corpses of the fallen. <laughs> Okay, you look a little dead. Okay, you're you're very dead. Okay, enough enough tree enough playing with the tree, dude. You need to like focus on like your own like life. <laughs> uh No, oh, I think it's because they are too injured to be considered um, to get to the thing for conversion, so yeah. What are you doing? Oh, you're just eating a body. Are you eating? <laughs> This boom rat just ate this dude's head. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Oh, it's dirty in here. Somewhere. There we go. Let's see. How cool is it in here? It is negative 10. We should probably put the roof back on now. I previously had this roof off so then during the winter time it would um, be nice and cold in here and keep things cold. But now we have actual coolers. That can be a year-round thing. Okay, you're, you're, you're taking Bradford to Splash Mountain. This is Splash Mountain, by the way. It's a water, it's a little watery pit. Where things is just kind of rot. You're about to see like a lot of corpses, aren't you? Yeah, you saw like, saw like three separate corpses. <laughs> yeah, we, we've had some uh, visitors. <laughs> and it seems like the boom rats have been eating some of them, part of them too, because uh, you probably had a head at some point. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Let's just haul all this stuff. What are you doing? You're just sitting in the dark praying? Well... We're gonna do this so that all these rooms can share the temperature of this one. Well, because this should heat up to at least like not like 
What are you got? What are you doing? Stop! Oh, I, I told him to do that, but he's just very hyper focused. He must be autistic too. <laughs> what? Jesus Christ! <clears throat> okay, looks like he's gonna continue the hauling stuff that Olabra was doing. If we can if we can convert Liz um, before they uh, join us, that would make things a lot easier. Trying to do some conversion stuff, huh? We'll get there. Wonder if I could do this now. Looks like we could do this now. <clears throat> Let's take a look. Convert D, prisoner, blah, blah, blah. Huntsman just hold one of these rolls. Oh, yeah. Well. You know what? Screw it. Let's try it. Wakey, wakey. Conversion time. <laughs> Grab her ass out of bed. We're... Let's see what it. Let's see what happens. Well, that was effective, at least. The conversion ritual is effective. The speech not not only delivered solid arguments and visibly swayed the converties' thoughts, but kept the crowd entertained as well. All right, cool. Good job, Bolivar. I wish you would, like, not do that so often. Oh, it's high enough again to... It's high enough again to uh, have three dryads, so we'll have that back and... Yeah, he has a connection with the tree, so it it makes him sad when they die. So we're going to probably try to build a wall around all of this crap. <laughs> so that... Because the dryads, when they're not, like, injured like this... Oh, jeez. What poor thing just got fucking destroyed. We have a lot. We have some. We have a lot of bones. 
<laughs> I try to build out of them whenever possible just because we have a lot of bones. Uh, what are you doing, Genevieve? Uh, let's just, let's have you haul some wood. Because you keep just, like, grabbing, like, little pieces of it from out here instead of just, like, a bunch of it at a time. Like, which would be more useful to do. Oh, dang, you're good at doing that. Minor brick rest from you. What? What's bothering you? Oh. The, the death of... Um, oh, you got insulted at some point. Uh, yeah, the death of Lemur brought a lot of sadness to the colony. For everyone. Well, eh, technically to him, too, but... I don't think he was quite as close to... Um, to Lemur. No, he already forgot. He already forgot about her. Jeez. <clears throat> yeah, I gotta. I gotta keep these spikes ma maintained and built so we can defend ourselves. It's expensive, but it's very necessary for considering we've got, we have one person that just can't really fight because they'll just get fucking owned horribly. So we kind of just got to do lots of wood cutting and. Gentle snow. Well, your construction's getting better. Haven't really seen any level up thingies for it, but it's definitely getting better. <clears throat> Huntsman pursued Genevieve by comparing her to a glimmering flower. Genevieve tur turned away. Well, he's definitely trying to move on. But his social's not very good. And, he and hers is worse. Like, her social is... <laughs> bad. <laughs> like, if you look at her bio. Social, zero... Awful social gene. Negative level adjusted to zero. <laughs> so, yeah, she's just never going to be good at being social at all in any way. It's, it's, it's lucky that everyone doesn't hate her. Lady kind of does. But... Eh, all right. Let's clean some of this blood. There's just blood all over the base, and it's probably bringing down everyone's mood considerably. I t yeah, that's a, that's a mood and a half. Hmm, maybe I should make this like two separate little hospitals. Instead of like one big one. <clears throat> He's just like hauling stuff around all over the place.
He really likes this tree here. Eh, we don't have much wood, but we've got at least some in reserve. We probably should be getting more as we are able to. And there's a lot of map that we can get it from. It's just time consuming. All right, Jenny here. What you doing? You, you building some more? Good. Oh, hey, we finished mending. All right, um... What's next? Pro drug production's probably a, a good one since we uh we have a a biological drug fiend. I'll be doing on our team before long. Apprehensively moving this back outside since we've been getting a lot of raids. But I, I, I need more block I need more bricks so we can build more. You know what? Just cut up, cut up both these big bastards. We're gonna, we're gonna have a feast. <laughs> oh, I don't want. How much meat is this gonna give us? Or is this fucker? Let's see. One thousand three hundred and eighty-six meat. Well. All right, well. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so many bones. That's a lot of rhino leather. Gee, it's like, it, it's just, oh my god. <laughs> it like exploded, just a big, just explosion of meat all over my storeroom. <clears throat> Bone shelf, let's copy settings and we'll um, paste settings and then we'll go to storage and these two shelves back here will be less important so that um, Oh no, Tortoise won! No! <laughs> Not Tortoise won. I, I took so much care in um, taming that one. Must just want these, this meat on the shelves. I mean, it doesn't matter, but it just keeps everything nice and, oh, looking a little nicer at least. What quest? Oh, Hopeless Drifters? No. We could literally not handle that right now. We're still trying to recover from <laughs> a 
that's some fucking Homestuck flushed bullshit. Or whatever. I, I, if I've ever seen it. Lady directly insulted Genevieve's recreational preferences. Genevieve's like said something about belts. Now they're going on a date. <laughs> and they're just like... Just... Shit talking each other while they're going on a date. <laughs> like, you fucking suck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a, what a fucking mess. Disaster, disaster lesbians. Why did, no. Go, go eat your food inside like a normal human being, you fucking weirdo. I was about to eat in the middle of the field and then have a hissy fit because they ate in the middle of the field. They chose to do that. I'm glad I caught them because that's like a minus three to the mood. Did not agree to the hook. Oh, they're trying to hook up. And Jenny's like, I'm busy. Go away. So I'm just like, don't you have anything better to do? Catharsis ran out, and you're still bummed about the whole wife dying thing, and just, you know. He's not doing so hot. That helps, but that's not gonna last forever. He's got to make more foods. He's going to bed. Let's see. This is down to 54. <clears throat> when is this back? When can we do another conversion? 18 days? It might be better to have uh, Olabar just try doing uh, convert again uh, in 1.3. Although his social sucks ass. Uh, all my people are just bad at social, it seems like. hold off on any morph because having a very good a very nice kitchen is very important so I don't want to like mess that up quite yet
Huntsman, God, he's like thirsty as shit now after his wife died. <laughs> he's like talking about loving. Mmm. Mostly just interested in uh, this. Because I want her to be converted over before she joins. Otherwise, it's kind of tedious to manage that. What are you building? Oh, you're building this. Oh, yeah, I forgot I used to have Olabar doing a lot of this. Like, uh... Go prune your fucking tree. Actually, while I'm thinking about it... Let's see, so... Right there... Yeah, we, we don't want walls in the vicin this like vicinity where this tree is. But we want walls because these little dirads exist near this tree. Whether we like it or not, we can't really get them to go anywhere else. Why, why you why did you haul like two wood what is what is your what is your malfunction there how what I don't know what's going on here like who it's been oh well fuck We got the bloody rec room in here. The bloody fridge. Just blood everywhere. Bloody hallway. <laughs> Just way too much blood. We've gone through a fair bit of steel doing stuff like We can that so that turns off, doesn't use any watts. Thinking about what I'm doing next, cause we're we're we're, we're starting to recover from our stuff, from our um our downs our mishaps.
We'll work on this as we're able to. Because that will ensure the survive the safety of our little dryads. <clears throat> Let's put in another door here to help insulate our fridge a little better as well. Crematorium yet? What's uh, no, not that. Hmm. Here we go. <clears throat> no, there it is. It's it's in production, which is a weird place for it, but. here so that no roofs get put up otherwise that would make the tree a little less than happy you can imagine She is now no longer um, confined to a bed. We have been slowly but surely getting the uh, that taken care of, and once that's once we can, we're gonna try convert as well. But we need to get a little table in there. We don't really need to. get a table in there, but we definitely could. Alright, yeah. Crazy mooses, of course. The most important part of life. Now he's sad. The final straw was my wife. <laughs> that shouldn't be funny, but it's like, oh, the final straw, my wife died. <laughs> that shouldn't be funny, but oh, now he's just sad and wandering around. Thankfully, he's mostly indoors. He's just kind of sad. It's, I've been in the dark for a while. I don't like it. His bedroom's awful. Probably because it's just full of dirt and nasty. Yeah, it's very dirty. 
We we have three hundred marble blocks, so we're gonna start putting in some floors around the base to make it a little less dirty. Some marble tiles, rather. It also made people move a little faster, too, so. Yeah! <laughs> Let's see, prisoner, uh, prison break interval, 18 days. Is this roofed in? Uh, yeah, there's a there is a roof. We're probably gonna move their prison in over here. We can have our hospital again. My prison cell is an awful place. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. She developed a stab scar from one of the spike traps. It's to get, it cause a little bit of uh, it'll cause a little bit of um, constant pain. Along with being a torture artist, she's going to be a handful. I can already see it. I can already see how much of a pain in the ass she's going to be, but we just need another person. I can't really be super picky at this very moment. I mean, you're in a great mood. What the hell's eating you? Oh, you already for you. You, you already forgot about um, Lemur. Well, that's kind of sad, but, well. <laughs> the raccoon's sleeping next to a grave. Should have mean something. Where are you? Are you okay? Oh, he's still just wandering around. Okay. Yeah, he'll, I'm sure he'll be fine. Eventually. Maybe. Ah, that's fine. Oh, a veterinarian named Cat Catton is crashed on a transport pod. Uh, well, hello. What do you have? A delicate gay jogger. <laughs> you can't fight.
Yeah, well, you're, we're gonna take your clothes. And, um... That's all we're gonna do. Sorry, not sorry. Don't... Uh, I can't... I'll, you're, you're a biologically engineered soldier that can't do violence. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's we can't really deal with that right now. Sorry. Really? Was that necessary, raccoon? How fast do you build things? Eh, okay, you're getting there. Are you still wandering out in the snow like a weirdo? Yeah. Don't mind the don't oh you're not a, they're not a body yet. Don't mind them though. It's fine. Next on the itinerary here. Our traps are mostly fine. Genevieve is... I'm gonna have her actually do construction and all of our make blocks, because... Why aren't you building... Stop. Fine. I will f manually tell you to build these since you don't really seem to want to on your own. You, you're too. She's really concerned about that tree over there. He's no longer wandering. That catharsis will help him bounce back, and drowsy will be gone soon too.
It's kind of dark in here. I'd look and see if we have any cowboy hats or anything like that. Oh, hello, Mega Sloth. Thankfully, those are not aggressive. Because they would be terrifying if they were. I think having a cowboy hat would make would make Olabar better at the whole social thing. At least by a little. How's the tree looking? It's it's fine. It's fine. Put on your cowboy hat and let's go let's go chattering. Never mind, Diva's busy. You just been making cowboy hats all night, huh? Fucking weirdo. Just nothing but cowboy hats, huh? Go to sleep. Little strange l woman. She's asleep, honk, shoo, me, 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 etc. Ladies clean up some blood. Still farting out herbal medicine. Okay. Okay. Let me, let me. All right, he's gonna try to convert. I guess we'll see how this goes, cause. Oh, well. She was upset, but hey, her certainty dropped pretty drastically. Now you're gonna try to convert her too. 
Yep. We're down from 38 to 25 in like a very short span, so we're making some good progress on that front. <clears throat> Awkward. <laughs> Uh, let's have Genevieve finish building these, this wall, so that our little dry rads will not have to worry as much about getting, and there's still a chance that they'll, like, break in to this area to kill them, but it's a lot less if there's no path to them. Or it's at the very least a little less. Yeah, I've got a feeling that she's going to be problematic to keep around. But hey, if, as long as I can get her to do something. Like, she, I can have her the one making the drugs or something. I don't know. Um, She's good at social and intellect. and Not really good, but can be good. So, not completely worthless. <laughs> That should keep these little critters fairly safe. I wish these things couldn't operate doors like that, because I have a feeling one's going to get caught outside and just die anyway. Maybe I should put another door on the other side here. Let's put this wall somewhere else in that case. Uh, we can put this wall like up here, and we'll just put in another... Uh,
What the fuck? Oh. Great. A fault in an electrical conduit has caused a short circuit. All 1800 watts of energy in the connected batteries have been discharged. Oh, wonderful. Alright, uh, we got a fire to put out. Jesus Christ. Okay, well that's why I have that um, that mod for the fuses that I just didn't put a fuse in because I'm a damn fool. Not part of the base game, by the way. So those, like, zits or whatever that happen can just kind of happen. There we go. It's a good thing we got some food already because, um... Yeah, that happened at the probably the worst time imaginable. <laughs> What's your certainty at, sweetheart? Uh, let's see. Oh, well, it's getting pretty low. 19? Okay. Down. A shuttle of the Broken Empire has taken damage and is seeking a place to land. Its commander, Osteos, wants to land at Catasbia. It Itakin from Colistro Roar Clan will attack the crushed shuttle site and attempt to kill its occupants. You must defend them. Mm. I don't think we're ready for that yet. We're still just trying to get get our get our, our bearings back. We're trying to convert this person to get them on our team. <clears throat> no, don't do that. Do that. That's better. We're getting some nice tiles put in now. I think we're I think we're getting out of marble.
Olabar, what? I hadn't really thought about that. I, didn't, I forgot I have this wall light mod. How much power is this little white light draw? Does it? Oh, that's a power conduit. <laughs> no wonder. Uh, uses 20 watts. That can I'll definitely add up, but. But that should make his cooking speed quite a bit faster. tend to do it that way. It's a pretty big map. Lots of resources I have just not even touched yet. <laughs> some blocks what are you doing there's no hoop girl there ain't no hoopstone out there what are you doing <laughs> unless that's like a euphemism <laughs> He's getting a little low. Wonder if a convert will be the what finishes it off. He's still upset about the whole wife dying thing. I can try. Well, no, I can't do that without not being able to convert too. So he'll just have to deal with it.
And these three should be able to fill our batteries up pretty quick. Just a constant little scrape of the pruning over here. This is driving me nuts. <laughs> Shit by, shit, by the time, um, before long, I might end up just getting, uh, she might just end up getting converted anyway. Um, and for the meantime, they'll probably have to be her bedroom until I can get one of these built or unless she, like, hooks up with one of the other people. Uh, let me see. I see this is getting worse as um, these rooms are pretty decently temp decent temperature now. If I put a door here and a door here, that should help insulate this better. Just more doors will insulate the rooms a little bit better from each other as necessary. What'd you say about fat people, Lamar? You're looking a little thick yourself. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, you're hauling more marble blocks. And there's like a lot of trees out here I just haven't done anything with. So I might just have Olabar go on a cutting spree in this like entire area. So many bones. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these bones. I could technically make walls out of them, but that doesn't that doesn't sound very smart. Like these are bone walls. They're not very strong. These granite ones are much, much better. Oh, this wild tortoise is just, like, st stuck in here. It lost its tail and its nose to frostbite. That's unfortunate. Um, how are you, little critter? Are you frostbite at all? What's your livable temperatures? Uh, minimum comfortable temperature. Jeez, these things can survive a very broad range of temperatures. It's kind of impressive, honestly. Oh, I, why do I care? The boars have been eating all the corpses in Splash Mountain. Well, ain't that convenient. To the point where there aren't really any in there. We haven't been raided in a hot second, which is nice. I've had some time to actually fucking breathe. Hmm. I think ladies are best social person. I'm I might make her uh put on a better t shirt. I'm sure I got one somewhere. Uh, let's see, it's outer, but I want that to stay on, so, um, it's a 
cloth shirts. But not sure that is a another cloth one. Uh, let's see. Urban trousers, whatever that's supposed to mean. Mesh shirt. Cloth tunic. Hmm. I bet somebody put the other good stuff on. Hmm. I'll remind this stuff and then have her head back because I might I might send her to somewhere to see if she can buy some psychite. She might not be able to. And we might just have to like grow some and hope that one person uh, stays alive. Admittedly, it sounds like if it gets long enough before they have any psychite, they'll go and they'll go into a coma. Which hey, at least I don't have to really worry about them like freaking out as much. But that's still probably not ideal. You have been just laying waste to the trees. The Lorax would hate you. <laughs> Lady spoke about fighting cannibals. Well. Uh, still 12, minus 12 C, that's not bad. And it's only like negative six out too, so um, the next day I might send her on a um, on a little mission to try to buy some stuff. And also simultaneously get some of the wealth off of this map because we've got, I think we look at like some uh, some history you can see the uh, the yellow is the uh, the wealth in um, total wealth in items wealth in buildings and then wealth creatures which is our people you can see the wealth in items is really high <laughs> because uh, we've got a lot of stuff and that makes raids a little um, scarier by a lot a little by a lot you know that kind of stuff <laughs> Visitors from the Grey Mulbjana. Oh, their thing is almost gone. Um, Steve's awake right now. Eh, he might be awake soon. Okay, let's see like most of this like bone like all these little short bows are gonna go away just because they're taking up space Like all this kind of awful cloth armor um, For for my mm, I was gonna say for my own safety probably the frag grenades too because I'm a fool, but mm, 
it might end up being it might be nice to keep some of that stuff but like hmm. what else can we sell to this person apparently we got a lot of herbal medicine which probably makes up a decent amount of the uh Let's see, Slate Club, Wood Club, uh, two of these awful bows, and I get like 44 silver out of it. Go to bed. Because in the morning, unless something happens, I'm going to try to send her off to do some trading. What are you up? What are you doing? Stop. Just go eat some food. You freaking weirdo. Like, get, like, going through this hallway is just not great. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Well. What's your, what's your speed out there, little bear? Oh, you're still way too fucking fast. Yeah, never mind. We're not we're not gonna do we're not dealing with that. We'll let it we'll let it bleed out. <laughs> That's really unfortunate that these two people just like died, but at least it wasn't anything to do with me. Hmm. They do have some silver though. Don't really want the pemmican because that is eating strange meat you've never seen <laughs> is not a good idea usually. Now's a good time as any. Oh, hey, you are now you are now a uh, post holiest. Successful conversion. So now, 
Let's uh, recruit or reduce resistance. Or we could probably do recruit. Because now they have converted to our thing. Oh no. Oh no, that's bad. Where's this bear? We're gonna have to we're gonna have to deal with this bear because huntsman might just like wander outside and fucking die. Can you fucking not, please? I don't- I don't need the more- more stress right now, lady. I promise. I promise it's fine. Three point two move speed. I mean, Olbar seems like he's pretty fast. You know what? All right, let's get this bear away from here. Carefully try to. I should have given him a better gun than this, but yeah. Okay, Oliver, you're gonna lead the bear away because your 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 speed's a little faster and you're not bleeding, so you should be able to just get away from the bear. Speed's not as low as I was hoping it would be. God, I wish this thing had a higher range. Oh, we got another hit. Go. <laughs> Get juked, bear. Yeah, it would have been better if I had a, like a better rifle, like one that we haven't. We definitely have a rifle in storage. I'm just a a fool. Come on, shoot him. Oh, you hit both of them. Let's get some more space. Oh, it's hunting a rat. Well... Sorry, Bear, it's a little too late for that. I mean, it's not Manhunter anymore, but it's about to bleed out anyway, so we're gonna finish the job. While not being a, f while not being foolish and letting it just roll up on us. All right, Olabar, finish the job. All right, crisis averted. <laughs> I was mostly just worried that Huntsman was gonna like stumble around in a daze and um, 
Okay, he went to sleep anyway. That's fine. Yeah, I was just very worried he was... <laughs> the final straw. My wife died. I guess it counts as my wife left me, just in a little bit more of an extreme uh, way. This could be a country song. Well, now we got some more meat. That's neat. Go on, Olabar. Prune the tree. We know you want to. Sleep in. I don't think there's really anything else here that I want, per se. Just the silver and the good bow. Let's see, where are our predators at? Cougar's way down there. Let's see, Cougar's down there. Warg is far enough away, should be fine. That warg is way over there. This fucking thing that I forgot was on the map is over here. And these things are not fun either. They're just very, they're very fast. Uh, maybe not that fast. Hmm. But they seem like they would be fast. So we're gonna wanna not cross their path unless it really comes to it. <clears throat> We're researching. Still just in a in a psychotic wander. It's a good thing we have like food still. Okay, enough, stop. He just starts he just hyper focuses really hard and then just does nothing but prune that damn tree. people on their fucking purple masks. Check my Discord messages. Okay, nothing, like, nothing directly at me. It's just, like, notifications from various, um, various, um, like, servers I'm in.
that should more evenly spread the heat through these rooms. Let's see. Gonna really need Huntsman to snap out of it pretty soon, because we're gonna run out of food. Well, we probably just did run out of food. And we do have this pemmican, but that's like emergency stuff. I don't like this thing being so close to my base. Come on, Huntsman, stop that. Thank fuck. Okay, no, you need to not rest right now. You need to cook, please. We're in dire need of food. <laughs> Okay, we got 40 of those. That'd be, that was my thing I was most worried about is those.
Yeah, I'm looking for a, a caravan uh, rallying spot. Wall sunlight, huh? Interesting. There we go. All right. Lady's the only one that would be going. And wait, let's see, we can carry 35 kilograms. Oh, well, no wonder we're getting fucked with so much. We have these smiled on the fangs that um, are worth 800, eight, I think it's 800 total. No, that's 800 each. Because, yeah, it's in the unit price, so yeah. Um. I don't think we're gonna really need food, but maybe I should bring, um, some fine meals. Okay. Uh, fine by me. Route travel time, point one day, so we might it might not even really take that long, so yeah, we'll uh What are you, what are you, why are you going there? <laughs> um. You have all the stuff, I mean, you have all the stuff, can't really be that upset, but it's just like, why are you going down there to form your caravan? I've never really done much of this caravan stuff, so hopefully this goes all right. just sitting there because I don't know reached a waypoint and then just gave up I don't know yeah I won't it shouldn't take very long to get there we'll just leave her to that and focus on these 
people. Like this fucking crocodile. Oh. And we've got a cougar too. Love that. Oh, well, I guess it'll take a little longer than I expected. Oh, boy. Now is not a great time for a raid, admittedly. Like, you're gonna be just on keeping this asshole in their jail cell duty. Admittedly, Lady probably wouldn't be doing an awful lot of fighting anyway, because, yeah, it's just kind of... Do I have a slightly more, um... Useful bow or something. Like, we got this. Twenty damage. How much damage is this uh, shotgun? Eighteen, but it shoots two volleys. 
this might be that's uh, 17 uh, hmm aiming time two seconds how about this just doing really really rough quick comparisons okay I feel like the shotgun's probably still just a better weapon Thankfully, we have an awful lot of traps. It's just a matter of if we get some, if the freaking dudes do something with this cougar here, which they might, but we'll see, I guess. Not much we can do about it. Oh, wait, they didn't know y'all were attacking. Oh, that's a problem. Not, not cool. However, this could uh, work to our advantage if Diva breaks out there and starts just beats the shit out of them. But that could be bad because I was trying to recruit, I was trying to recruit her, but she's just not having a good time. Okay, we have to make a decision. That decision is going to be abandon ship. And hope that a few of these die. Like what are you what are you doing? Oh, you're breaking that wall? That's annoying. Why are y'all doing that? I mean, I guess it's better than being than being just stupid, but mm. all right, Olabar. I'm just kind of like just gonna have you go um, get their attention. Or at least that one's attention. Oh, right, did it work for you too? kind of just where are you going what do you, why well I could have Genevieve run back and do the repairing of this at least all right well they're they've um, they're leaving now See, so you're not quite dead. What's your status here? Slow learner, bloodlust, masochist, bisexual. Unfortunately, I need to have somebody that can actually fight cuz right now we're we got two fighters with dealing with like four or five enemies mostly. It's frustrating. Technically three, but like mm, you're not great and you're just already dead, so I'll, I'll probably strip him. Now, could I, like, arrest um I don't want to hurt D.Va here, if I can avoid it. But I might not be able to avoid it, because I don't know how long this mental break is going to last. Maybe until they pass out.
and you're just like sleeping. I wish you'd be like awake right now. Bleeding out, bleeding out. Nah, I'm not interested in either of them. What's your gear, though? If you have decent gear, mm, not really. And no, uh, never mind. I'll just let them uh, perish. They did give us some stogies, though. Look at them fucking things. Well, like, what I could do is I could get, um, like, a, do I have a club somewhere that's not, like, made of metal? I, probably, I think at some point I did have a wood club that I kind of didn't do anything with, and I, oh, we do, we, we have it here. Uh, hey, Olibar, how about you go, uh, grab this, uh, this wood club and come back and, um, dispense some, I, I guess, uh, some calm down juice. Cause this is a tedious. I mean, it's possible that we end up, uh, she just passes out beforehand. pretty soon. I just want to try to resolve this situation here. <laughs> as least d dangerful as possible, which is... Is this rat been eating corpses? Probably. just bonker a little bit there we go um, thankfully no actual injuries so we can get her dumbass back in bed and work more on getting her uh, taken care of all right put her back <laughs> That's the reason why you want to use like clubs and stuff is because they don't tend to break skin, so those have a lot less chance of um a lot lower chance of um a 
causing dangerous injuries. Oh, n that's dangerous. <sighs> She can't even defend herself, even if she wanted to. Oh, shit. She is not going to be happy camper. Oh, hey, we finally made it to the fucking trader. Uh, did he even have what I need? Probably not. Great. <laughs> and he don't even want to buy the thing I brought with me. Um... Well, this was a waste of time. Guess we're dealing with this, because... <sighs> she should be okay. Oh, great, her... gonna try to drag him away I guess I don't really know what to really do with this that was a oh no he's gonna fight a fucking well, he's probably dead. Nice knowing you, Olabar, you fucking idiot. Hope we make it get close enough to it to uh, have him not do that, but he's probably gonna... Please don't fight the cougar. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. Well, his rage is over. At least the cougar's not mad. That's we're we're fucking. Lo what did what happened to you? <sighs> okay, that's all I can say is okay. <laughs> 
Jesus fucking Christ, what a shit show. Thankfully the cougar is not angry. Oh. How far away are you, lady? Oh, you're so far away. God, this is terrible. This is so terrible. I just wanted a nice playthrough and things have gone to, to, the, to the worst the worst way we got like everyone's just hurt and pissed off all right at least at least he can do medical Which of you, which of you needs a moral? You're bleeding because your right little toe is just gone. You're bleeding worse. Because you picked a fight with a cougar. Like a damn fool. God, his freaking medical is so bad, he's just got to get, like, t tons of medicine. And you're bleeding out in 20 hours now. I just got to get all of our wounds shut. And I guess after we get these two stabilized, we'll call the stream. I, I meant to call it sooner, but, y you know. <laughs> oh, Great Huntsman have, has a major break risk now, too, because, you know. Thankfully, she only has one injury, and I can focus on trying to get him happy. Uh, God. When things, like, when things go bad, they, they go bad. You need to eat a, f a meal yourself before you lose your goddamn mind. Probably going to anyway. We're gonna just have to, we're gonna call the stream, <laughs> the stream here, cause it keeps just spiraling, like spiraling out of control. One thing, where things go from bad to worse to worse somehow. <laughs> so, um, I might not do Minecraft tonight. I might not. Mm, yeah, I don't think we're gonna do it tonight. I'm just gonna kind of hang out the rest of the night. But yeah, that's gonna be the stream for today. Had some good Worm World. Had finished Warrior Land and next Saturday, which oh next Saturday stream I should say, which isn't gonna be next Saturday because I think I'm on call. Um, we will be starting something on the morning block and still have Rim World on this block because Rim World has gotten very spicy this last day. <laughs> But that's the stream for tonight. Let me see if I can raid someone real fast. Who we got? Uh, there's one right Actually, yeah, I think we'll just we'll just cut it there. Thank you so much for hanging out, and I'll see next time. I'll see you. Will be Monday with more DQ treasures. See you then.